are there ways of predicting which persons with schizophrenia or more, are more likely to recover? Uh, yes, there are some indicators that uh, go, b go way back to well before the illness begins. One of the best indicators or predictors of recovery is actually the same in schizophrenia as it is for any illness that people might have, can including cancer, and that is the level of social competence that a person achieves before the illness occurs or the level of educational and vocational accomplishment that the person has. So the, the level of, of, uh, of ability and adjustment in normal life prior to the onset of the illness is a very strong predictor of uh, future outcome and recovery. Unfortunately, in schizophrenia, it's an illness that occurs that starts in late adolescence or early adulthood when people don't have, the individual doesn't have the full lifetime experience to get that high level of competence of becoming independent, of being married and having a, a family. These are protect, can be protective factors. So um, one has to rely on earlier uh, reports of the degree to which people have been able to make friends, have close friends, have been dating, and have uh, had good grades in school and this kind of thing, S sporting activities, extracurricular activities. So that's one factor. Another factor is the uh, cognitive capacity, that is the ability to learn, the ability to have good memory, uh, having being able to have two or three things in your mind at the same time. Uh, for example, when you make a phone call, you have to know the phone number that you're going to use. You have to know who it is you're going to be calling. You have to have in your mind, in your memory, uh, what you're going to say, what you want to accomplish with the phone call, what you're going to do if you get a voice message instead of the person, uh, if you get a wrong number, all of these things are needing to be in the memory storehouse and to be able to be called up. So a person who has a good capacity for memory and for learning and for making decisions, taking initiative, solving problems, all of these things require a very active and uh, normal functioning brain. And so people with schizophrenia who have these capacities, these uh, brain capacities, uh, have a much higher likelihood of recovering and can recover much faster. A third type of indicator or predictor of recovery is the um, extent to which a person responds to medication. Some people respond very rapidly. And there are about 15% of individuals with schizophrenia, unfortunately, for whom we don't have medications that can really uh, bring those symptoms under control. And so, of course, a person who responds well initially to medication can recover much more readily than someone who responds slowly or not at all. These are some of the indicators.